is now at the forefront of of rights in America. Target is taking a stand on the transgender bathroom controversy playing out across the nation. Target said Tuesday that transgender customers can use restrooms corresponding with their gender identity. Each person can now use restrooms that align with their personal gender identity. I know that it's like a, a trend to be more like welcoming or open-minded towards that kind of issue. As a woman shopping at Target, do you mind a man coming in as a transgender woman into the restroom? No, not at all. It's an ever-changing society. So, you know, business is business. I think that they're doing what they need to do to, to, to make things evolve in regards to business. And as shoppers, we, you know, we probably would need to comply with that. I don't know if you guys saw what that said. It's a little girl claimed that a man was watching her use the bathroom. Um, fired for preaching, Georgia dumps doctor over church summons. Dr. Eric Walsh was a respected director of public health in California, serving the poor in the trenches of the Los Angeles area. He also served on President Obama's Presidential Advisory Council on HIV and AIDS. We had opened up a dental clinic for HIV positive individuals and uh, we were able to fund this clinic and, and allow those individuals to get care. Dr. Walsh was an associate pastor in his church. His desire to serve the sick is based on his religious faith. My mother was a single mother and what got us through, what kept us out of trouble, what um, led us down a path to education where I now have two doctoral degrees was the fact that I came from a denomination that the whole education in high regard um, and medicine and medical missionary work in high regard and all those things were part of what protected me growing up so I held, I held on to those beliefs. After accepting Georgia's offer to serve as the director of health for Northwest Georgia, Dr. Walsh began preparing to move his family across the country. Then Dr. Walsh received an unexpected request from the state. They asked him to submit copies of his sermons. I submitted four sermons to someone in the department, high up in the department. They reviewed those sermons, and the next day I no longer had a job. Politely sent them copies of the sermons themselves. They reviewed them, and the very next day they fired. State officials called to let Dr. Walsh know he was fired by leaving him a voicemail. What they didn't realize is that they forgot to hang up their phones. forgot to hang up the phone, and I just hear laughter. I just thought, man, this is pretty, pretty rough. I mean, they have to understand being in the field that me not getting that job is tantamount to the complete destruction of a career. And when they laughed, uh, I mean, it was almost too much to bear. No American should be fired for something they say in a sermon. This is allowed to stand. It sets an incredibly terrible precedent for a country that's supposed to be based on certain inherent freedoms and rights. And if this is erased for Eric Walsh, it's erased for generations to come. Hmm. Good evening. Primary school pupils is...